Oh shit. Oh shit. Shit. I got skates! I ordered roller skates on the internet and they're here and I'm gonna try them. I've only ever skated once in my life, two years ago. And then I haven't thought about roller skates since. And then like a couple months ago, I started getting suggested videos on YouTube and Instagram about skating. And I'm like, that looks fun. That looks like that could probably fill the void of despair growing within me since starting quarantine. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of, I'm trying not to bank all of my well-being on enjoying skates in case I don't enjoy them, but I am hoping that they will bring me some joy. Oh, you know what? I should probably put on my uh, kneecap guard things before putting on the boot. go <laughs> okay I need to bend here but I cannot so we're gonna make these less tight that doesn't feel nearly as stable as it does on ice skates I don't know why I thought I'd be able to start skating to work like immediately gonna go back to the bench. Okay. That's that's my goal for now. It's good. <laughs> that was really good. Thanks. I just need to learn how to stop. Which I thought I knew how, but Tuck and roll. No. <laughs> I don't know how to get up from this position. I don't know what kind of wheels are on here. They feel pretty squishy, so I'm assuming outdoor wheels? I bought some other ones and I'm gonna just put those on. <laughs> just because I want the experience of um, using my skate tool. And also, I already started scuffing them, so I'm gonna put the toe bags on, which I should have done before I started skating, but honestly, I don't know what's going on in my brain right now. So, I'm trying to complete my thought that I had earlier. I, I don't want to put too much faith in Skating. I mean, as far as trying to find a creative fun outlet that brings me joy. That, that used to be a complete thought in my brain, but trying to say it out loud, it's not a complete thought anymore. It just has returned to being just another feeling that I can't verbalize. I'm trying to be better at that, about verbalizing um, emotions and thoughts and all sorts of things. And I thought vlogging would help, but... I started this channel wanting to become better at talking and expressing things with words rather than with pictures or drawings or words that are on paper. Like, I want to get better at speaking words instead of writing words. Yeah, I just realized. Remember when I was cutting my hair? Uh -huh. and gave up because I was lazy and I was like I don't have to be around anyone oh, yeah. no one will see let's cut his hair and so, he's not uh, done but he's done but I'm outside and on <laughs> YouTube shit which one do I use? oh sweet 
Damn, there's a little wrench in here. Woo! I was just talking about how I'm trying to get better at like talking. And I'd like to make it known that I'm really bad at talking like when you're here. And I feel really bad about that. Like that's been a thing for a long time. I'm bad at performing in front of people who are close to me. I can perform in front of strangers all fucking day. But if someone close to me is in the audience, I am nervous out of my mind. And that's kind of like happening here too, where I want to just talk and vlog and do the stuff I regularly do when I'm alone. But since you're here, I'm like getting all like weird and heady about it. Nothing on you. It's entirely a me problem. I don't think I'm supposed to do this. Um, like pop the bearings out with the trucks of the wheel. Heard it can ruin your threading, but I have nothing else right now. So I have to, I'm just gonna do it very carefully. Oh, where did this come from? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. All of the YouTubers that I really like, um, I like them because watching their videos makes me feel like I'm hanging out with them. And that's the kind of content I wanted to make. But for some reason, when I started YouTube, I went immediately into tutorials. Why did I make tutorials? Just about random shit that I'm not even, like, good at. So I'm hoping with this whole skate diary thing, I can get back onto what I wanted to make, which is content that makes you feel like you're hanging out with a friend. I went to a park, um, I meant to use the basketball court for practicing, but there's someone there, and it's only one person, so I could ask, like, hey, do you mind if I skate here? But, I, I don't know how to ask. I know I just said the words, but actually saying those words to other people, that's different. <laughs> that's entirely different. How does anybody do this, honestly? Hey, 